Oh man, and both their names start with N. What is going on here? Oh. Alright, well this will be an interesting one. It's the first time we've actually... I think this is actually the first time we've ever cast a caster versus caster. Not to take away from the fact that they're players, of course, but just an interesting side note as we get into this game. It's a best of one in the first round of the Go for StarCraft Monday Premium Cup. It's October 6th, and I hope you guys are having a great Monday. But let's hop into this. Spawning here in the top left corner of the map, playing for Carnage Esports. It's gonna be the Blue Zerg player from Base Trade TV. Give it up for Namshar. There you go. Never writes as the Red Terran, it's Nathanius. WCS, Red Bull, you name it, he's been there. It's your team strike up, dream hack. I mean, when it comes to the caster wars, Nate wins this without question, but when it comes to the player wars, I gotta give the edge to Namshire just a little bit. I mean, as I said before we got into the game, Nate's got a lot stacked against him here. Namshire is a competitive player who is qualified and played in WCS. He's also on the European server. And the end, sure is also Grandmaster, you know, no big deal. Uh, Nate recently hit GM himself, not once, but twice. He's been streaming a lot, and I think he planned to stream after Go for StarCraft. In fact, I think he is streaming his Go for StarCraft ventures right now. If you want to go watch his first person point of view, but. I don't know, man. This is. <laughs> I'm rooting for Nate a little bit, because just, you know, that whole underdog element, but at the same time, we've seen Namshar throw some really dumb games. There's. It, it's not at all just me trying to build up a game that's got no hype to it or anything. It's not one-sided, and this could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> um, I really, I don't, I've only cast Dampshire a little bit, and I don't really watch a stream. I'm not, I'm not even really cast with him all that often, honestly. But, of the ones that I did cast, they didn't exactly inspire me with confidence. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess you won a couple of them, right? But then there's the weird kind of sloppy games and I've that could have been just an off day or what but I've seen them sure throw some of the dumbest stuff sometimes <laughs> yeah yeah well I know that you're like you know because you always get like angry at him when he does and like put him on Twitter but anyways yeah, yeah. and uh ZVT is also just a matchup that a lot of people are struggling with so you tell me that he's struggling with it as is like I gotta imagine that he's really struggling with it because like well okay I should, refrain, Zergs... I should refrain struggling with it's more like it comes down to that throw mentality because like, Namshar, on one hand, he can actually execute Snoot's Swarm host style really effectively, but then on the other, he'll lose to something dumb like Hellbats. So it's kind of like that toss-up, right? Like, which part of the matchup do you struggle with? Ah, uh, okay, that's gonna help me. <laughs> Wait, which part of it does he struggle with? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what we're gonna find out today, because... <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, okay, I guess so. Um, if you say, like, you know, he throws a lot, I would imagine that he just says something with, uh, over-dedicating. Like, you know, some Terrans, or some Zergs, rather, they see an opportunity to the swamp and they don't realize there's like six Widow Mines. Yeah. And they just like, A move off with Creep in there. That's, that's what I'm thinking of right now. But uh, I guess you're right. We'll see if Namshur, like, that one day that I cast him, was it just a fluke? Was it just like a weird day or what? Um, but it's really, I mean, it. I usually would just give this dance to Namshur like 100% because I think he practices more than Nathanius because Nathanius just, you know, we're just casting every, like every freaking thing. Oh, yeah, he's expressed like it sucks that like, when he's traveling for 11 hours, he can't even play StarCraft or anything. Yeah, exactly. But like TVZ is really, it's not like imbalanced in favor of Terran. We're just finding more Zergs Ooh. having to play with it. One HP hype. <laughs> Sneaks out alive. Uh, of course, I guess we didn't bring up the fact that like either one of these players could just cheat each other out. It is a best of one. <laughs> We're true. back in the round of 32. Uh, Nate did go for the four Marines, by the way, and throwing down that meta bag. Uh, most likely, as there is no second gas. What's yet. going on with Nathanius? Oh, okay, I was going to say. <laughs> he thought he was going to be supply block like hardcore, but the fan said he finished up. It's called the timing? Yeah, I know, right? Well, I just I was really questioning because he didn't even put down his bunker as his, his uh, natural. You know what? I would love if he lost this game to No Bunker after we finished casting with him and we were all making fun of Marine King the other day for the, uh, was it the Elima League? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true, we were. Ah, man, I really wish Damshire was cheesing him, but nope. Last, gets third base. Just a nice thing with Zombie up and I, we're not competitive players, so we can just BM everybody. Because they can't be like, well, I'm better than you. It's like, well, of course you are. Well, duh. <laughs> we don't try. <laughs> what else is new? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Nathanus is going for, I mean, you wouldn't call it cheesy, but it is just like difficult to deal with. This drop, the Hellings, the Marines, the Medivac, 
it's a pain. It's a pain for anyone. Namshur, though, not being entirely greedy, is getting a Baneling Nest. He's also getting a second gas, though, so I wonder if this is actually... No, never mind. He's getting four double Evos. Um, okay, so this Baneling Nest should just be purely for the defensive, like, in case this exact build comes out, which, hey, it is, so good for him. Well, I mean, if the Aesir got the wall mostly made up here, even without a bunker for now, I mean, it's fine because he's got the Hellions, but... Yeah, this is not a fight he's looking to ever play defensively. This is something he's looking to take across the map. And I know for a fact he's been studying a lot of 4GG replays, mostly for TVP, but I wouldn't be shocked if he copied a couple of the TVPs out of there, too. Yeah, I like the idea from Namshar here. He figures the Hellions must be making their way across the map, but uh, unfortunately just gives away a bunch of links for nothing. Yeah, that's a lot of Hellions, too. Like, what is this? Eight going on ten? Uh, no, it's actually a tech left in there. Nemsher, oh, he must have missed the Widom, like, missed the Medivac. He's, okay, no, he is making a couple of Banelings, but only four can honestly be targeted down. Well, there's no armory with this, so it's not going to be Hellbats, but still, the Hellions bring a lot of firepower to this, and oh, those Banelings. He's got to be so careful with this control. Pull it back. Oh my god. Oh, oh my pick god. Pick up the please. Medivac. There you go. Just lose the Hellions. Minimize damage lost here. Uh, of course, the contents of the Medivac, they're the most potent, the most important. Nice focus fire on that Baneling. And he kites the Zerglings around quite nicely. So Namshur now in a bit of trouble. He just gave away most of his, uh, his trump card, if you will. He's got a couple more queens here and lots of transfuses, but four Banelings are pretty much all he's got available right now. The queen amount is kind of insane. Um, only one is back and it's, you know, the main injecting. I guess the natural is injected here, but most of them are on the front line. And uh, with that many queens, yeah, Nathanus just really can't do anything. Oh, gotta rely on trying to use this drop. Namshar gets baited out chasing the Hellions. It's not a bad choice, but you gotta clear these Hellions, right? But uh, that's worth Nate now going into the main. Someone uncontested. Queen almost dies, seven health new. Go for the overload kill. It's not too bad. Uh, not a whole lot because he's definitely not going to firepower to kill that spawning pool. So I'm uh, just trying to maximize damage down here. He's so careful though. Yeah. Kill the queen. Kill the queen. Oh, oh yeah, he definitely could have. Oh well, and he still loses the medevac, so not really worth there. I get a couple, just get drones, a couple though, more. On the yeah, the, the last few drones. So four in total, but that's that's really that's Dude. not a lot. No, I don't think got any queens either. No, that was really scrappy on both sides, uh, too. I mean, like, yeah, Nate actually got some pretty good Ling kills out of that, which almost makes it worth it because he forced out a lot more larva into Lings instead of Namshur jumping up on drones. I mean, he's on 42 drones, so this should be like 60 if he was left on alone, alone at this uh, point. Uh, this is weird. I'm, I'm not entirely like 100% on the build order, but it just doesn't seem like you should be throwing six racks down at the same time. <laughs> no, it definitely doesn't. I think these six racks are the consequence of a lot of micro going on in the main of Namshar. These, <laughs> uh, these are staggered a little more. These are called macro racks, okay, guys? <laughs> this was not a mistake, all right? This was intended. Shh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is the amount of racks you want to have after you've taken all the base, like free bases. It's just, you know, not at one time, so. If Namshur had any units, like, if he, like, saw a counterattack opportunity, there would be, like, no production. He's still getting all the reactors on it and stuff, too. I mean, there'd be three Widowmines and one Marine. Like. Actually, yeah, that's really scary. Like, um, for Nathaniel's sake, too, especially with that opener, like, had this been something a lot more dedicated, like, let's say it was Rush Bailing, because that's the most common, right? Let's say that had been the case, they would actually be <laughs> up shit creek right now. <laughs> You'd be in a lot of trouble. Namshur could have also tried to contest this third, but again, you just, it's like, you... You don't want to assume that your opponent messed up, even though that sometimes is the case. And I know, like, someone like Arthosis actually talks about, like, you should kind of consider that they could mess up. <laughs> you should at least try, but Namshur just, you know, assumes he's not. And he's, just, he's gonna at least use the lack of any aggression. Because Nathanius, you know, he did that build, which means that, like, a 12 minute timing isn't gonna be exact, but he's really missing out on, like, the follow-up, like, creep push timing, you know? I mean, I guess he's gonna have enough units in about a minute, which means it's, like, 13, like, 14 minutes. It's, uh... Now, Namshur, the point is, Namshur's gonna have a lot of time to just be, like, really, like, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's taking <laughs> his fourth, he's got his creep on the way, he's getting that map control that he didn't get in the early game back, but... Uh, this one of my spirits actually kind of curious out of Nate. I, he tried to unburrow it, but I'm gonna call that the EU delay right there. Well, yeah, let's, let's also consider that Nathanus is on an EU delay. So while that, like, you know, obviously, it, you know, hurts the actual, like, dedicated micro, it just kind of hurts your mentality. Like, if you're dead, like, stuttering, you don't want to be macroing. It's just, it's annoying. Right, and the thing is, it is one of those few things in the game that is a legitimate excuse. Because what's annoying is, and if you guys don't know the experience of this, if you go to another server, it's not that there's, like, a constant one-second delay. It's, like, that there's sometimes, like, a one-second delay. So you can't even account for it. Yeah. But, uh... I 
I was wondering. It was kind of weird that Venus was getting three Marauders at a time. <laughs> it seemed what like he thought this? it was going to be Roach. So Vice has got the weirdest. <laughs> yeah, it's derping out here. But yeah, yeah, he fixes it. So now it's just Marines and Marauders. And he is pushing out around 14 minutes. But Namshire's creep already a bit insane. I mean, he had four extra Queens. So that's less explains like, the amount of creep humors he has. He gives them all alive as well. So when Athanas, you know, clears it up now, he's, you know, he plans it after he leaves. Well, oh, Muta's in the natural. No, wow. not oh, Muta's, but Ling's actually managed to sneak in here. Ooh, Killed quite wow. a lot of SCVs. Not exactly devastating, but 14 SCVs dead. It's still 14 SCVs dead. In the meantime, he's moving the middle of the map, but the Bailey's coming in. He was not split because he was looking back in the natural. Namtra does catch him off guard with this. And uh, while Drop goes off in the main, both players just slugging it out. I mean, I'm loving the scrap fest that this game is, really. There's another stem. There we he's go. Cool. He's, he's not going to be in the lair. No way. Yeah, there's no way. I was gonna be Good upset. Try. I was gonna be really upset if Namtar had let this go down, but uh, still halfway dead. Not bad. This is one more drop that executes it later on. I don't believe you saw that wind of mine either. So, oh the <gasps> drones! Oh, oh the drones! Oh no, they're just barely out of range. Oh yeah, oh, she still on. gets one. What? Yeah, wait, actually, that killed it. That was weird. That's what? The, no, splash? The, what? Yeah, no, it's the, splash the one that went in that it targeted didn't die, but the splash damage killed the one that was following it. So, scumbag, uh, scumbag drone there. Now, the thing is, Ar Nate's army supply is not too bad, and he's coming up on 2 2. So, despite the fact that this has been really scrappy, uh, and it looks like he's been taking bad engagements, I mean, consider the fact that he's actually still in this pretty well. Oh, wow. I like the Marauder composition, but, um, yeah, if that 2 2 completes, you can take a pretty nice fight, but, oh, wow. Are you are you wowing at the combat shields? Because I'm wowing at the combat shields. Yeah, I'm wowing at the combat shields. <laughs> I didn't even he had three realize tech that. Was a ton. He never got combat shields? Come on. Yeah, oh, just slip it up <laughs> a little bit here. Uh, actually, you know, that's not even a little bit. Combat Shields is kind of a big deal, because that really hurts your stim potential, especially with Utilosis in play, but those Banelings, though, it's two instead of three, oh, it's gonna be... Yeah. Uh, but really, I mean, like, we're, we're kind of joking about, like, both players messing up, but their macro has been consistent with each other, and in fact, Nathanius at even supply with his third player is actually a little scarier for, for Namshire. Of course, Namshire is on four bases, his fourth really has not been contested, that run by was really good for him, but it seems uh, like the Mutas won't be able to do a whole lot more. It's, it, and that's the thing too, with all the tech lasts being dedicated to those Marauders, it doesn't actually have the Marine Protection straight up kill this. Uh, this turret, though, living forever, I think he might get a couple more Mutas for this, because Namshire is busy Please. focused on the south. We didn't see that engagement go down, but both players just traded out once again. They lost a lot of his bios. It's a big dip in supply, but Namshire lost a lot of oh. links. There's a lot of main links. Uh, it looks like I, I did also not catch that that engagement, but Na and the Phoenix looks to have lost too much. Namshire, now by 30 supply, we need to I... wait for those links to come out. I mean, he did come by Mutas in the process of this, right? He picks up, good control here on top of the Bailings. Marauders sadly cannot shoot up, though. Can these three Widowmines be the Ooh, heroes Widow that Nate me. needs? No, they go off with the Circles instead! <laughs> no! We're into 2 2, really you trying know, to work things out. Work. Yeah, I'm anyways. not sure. Nathanus has really missed on something really key here, and that's factory production. His Widowmine yeah, no production Thor. has kind of faltered, and his Thors, exactly, the Thors are what really are missing. He only has one factory where really you want to have two. You know, and, uh. Normally, there wouldn't be this many mute lists in the game. Did you try to just like formally, but formally? No, normally, but thermally. Oh, normally. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work as well. If it was like formally, because at least four and th are kind of the similar. Yeah, so the joke is like, what, a Thor out of ten? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, okay, I'm done with this. Uh, we got a donation, by the way. I'm sorry, I missed this at the start of the game. I just want to read this out before I forget. DeWitt49, very dedicated guy. He's been around for a long time. Uh, base trade, hard, hard, hard. Buy a beer for you and Zombie Grab at BlizzCon on me. Hashtag sub for life. $20 donation. Cool. All right, Turing goes down here in the natural. Uh, thanks again for that, man. Uh, but Nathanius is, yeah, in a lot of trouble. GG. Name sure we'll take the game.